My morning routine. My morning routine. Every morning, I start my day with a simple routine that helps me feel ready and happy. I wake up at 7 a.m. when my alarm goes off. The first thing I do is stretch my arms and legs to wake up my body. Then, I get out of bed and go to the bathroom to wash my face. The cool water feels nice and helps me wake up more. Next, I brush my teeth. My mom always says it's important to have clean teeth, so I brush for two minutes. After brushing my teeth, I go back to my room to get dressed. I like to pick out my clothes the night before, so it's easy to get ready in the morning. Today, I chose my favorite blue shirt and jeans. Once I'm dressed, I go to the kitchen for breakfast. My mom usually makes breakfast, and today we are having scrambled eggs and toast. I also have a glass of orange juice. Breakfast is my favorite meal because it gives me energy for the day. I sit at the table with my family, and we talk about our plans for the day. It's a nice way to start the morning. After breakfast, I help my mom clean up. I put my plate in the sink and wipe the table. Then, I go back to my room to pack my backpack for school. I make sure I have everything I need, my notebooks, pencils, and lunchbox. I double-check my homework to make sure I didn't forget anything. Before leaving the house, I put on my shoes and jacket. I say goodbye to my mom and dad, and then I walk to the bus stop. The bus stop is not far from my house, so it's a short walk. I like this time because I can enjoy the fresh air and see my friends who wait at the bus stop too. While waiting for the bus, my friends and I talk and laugh. It's a fun way to pass the time. When the bus arrives, we all get on and find our seats. The bus ride to school is not very long, and I usually spend the time talking with my friends or looking out the window. When I get to school, I feel ready and happy to start the day. My morning routine helps me feel organized and prepared. I like knowing what I need to do each morning. It makes me feel calm and confident. In conclusion, my morning routine is a simple but important part of my day. It includes waking up, getting dressed, eating breakfast, and getting ready for school. Each step helps me prepare for a good day. I enjoy my morning routine because it helps me start my day in a positive way. It's a good habit that makes my mornings easier and more enjoyable. A day at the beach. One of my favorite places to visit is the beach. Last summer, my family and I went to the beach for a day and it was a lot of fun. We woke up early and packed everything we needed like towels, sunscreen, snacks, and beach toys. The drive to the beach was exciting because I couldn't wait to see the ocean. When we arrived, the first thing I noticed was the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. It was a peaceful and calming sound. We found a nice spot on the sand and set up our towels and umbrella. The sand felt warm under my feet, and I loved the way it squished between my toes. The first thing I did was run to the water. The ocean was a beautiful blue color, and the water was cool and refreshing. I played in the waves with my sister. We jumped over the waves and sometimes let them crash over us. It was so much fun. We laughed a lot and tried to see who could jump the highest. After playing in the water, we decided to build a sandcastle. My dad helped us make a big, beautiful castle with towers and a moat. We decorated it with seashells we found on the beach. Building the sandcastle took some time but it was worth it. We were proud of our creation. For lunch we had a picnic on the beach. My mom packed sandwiches, fruit and chips. We ate while sitting on our towels, and it was nice to relax and enjoy the food with the sound of the ocean in the background. After lunch I felt a little tired so I lay down on the towel and closed my eyes. The gentle breeze and the warm sun made me feel very relaxed. In the afternoon my family and I went for a walk along the beach. We collected more seashells and even saw some small crabs scurrying along the sand. We took lots of pictures to remember the day.
Walking on the beach was nice because we could feel the soft sand under our feet and hear the waves. Later we played some beach games. We brought a beach ball and played volleyball. It was fun to run and jump in the sand. My sister and I also flew a kite. The wind was perfect, and the kite soared high in the sky. We watched it dance in the air for a long time. As the day came to an end, we sat on our towels and watched the sunset. The sky turned beautiful colors of orange, pink, and purple. It was a breathtaking sight. I felt happy and peaceful watching the sun go down. It was the perfect way to end our day at the beach. Finally it was time to pack up and go home. We gathered our things and said goodbye to the beach. I felt a little sad to leave but also very happy because I had such a wonderful day. The beach is a special place for me and I always have fun there. In conclusion, a day at the beach is one of my favorite ways to spend time. The sound of the waves, the feel of the sand, and the fun activities make it a perfect day. I enjoy spending time with my family and making memories that I will always cherish. I look forward to our next trip to the beach. A fun weekend activity. One of my favorite weekend activities is baking with my mom. Every Saturday, we choose a new recipe and spend the afternoon in the kitchen making delicious treats. It's a special time for us, and I always look forward to it. We start by deciding what we want to bake. Sometimes we make cookies, other times we make cakes or muffins. This weekend, we decided to bake chocolate chip cookies. Once we chose the recipe, we gathered all the ingredients. We needed flour, sugar, eggs, butter, vanilla, and of course, chocolate chips. First, we mixed the dry ingredients in one bowl. I sifted the flour and added the baking soda and salt. In another bowl, my mom beat the butter and sugar until it was creamy. Then, she added the eggs and vanilla, and I helped mix everything together. Mixing the ingredients is fun because I get to use the big wooden spoon, and I like to see everything come together. After the wet and dry ingredients were mixed, we combined them to make the dough. This part is my favorite because I get to add the chocolate chips. I always add a little extra because I love chocolate. My mom laughs and says we have to save some for the cookies. We mix the dough well and then get ready to scoop it onto the baking sheet. We use a small spoon to make the cookie dough balls. I place them on the baking sheet, making sure to leave enough space between them so they don't stick together. Once the sheet is full, we put it in the oven to bake. The cookies only take about 10 minutes to cook, but it feels like forever because I can't wait to taste them. While we wait for the cookies to bake, my mom and I clean up the kitchen. We wash the bowls and utensils and wipe down the counters. Cleaning up is not as fun as baking, but it's important to keep the kitchen tidy. My mom says it's part of being a good baker. Finally, the cookies are ready. The kitchen smells amazing, and I can't wait to try one. We let them cool for a few minutes, and then we each take a warm cookie. The chocolate is melted and gooey, and the cookies are soft and chewy. They taste even better than I imagined. After we enjoy our cookies, we usually share them with our neighbors and friends. It makes me happy to see their smiles when they taste our homemade treats. Baking with my mom is not just about making food. It's about spending time together, learning new things, and sharing our creations with others. In conclusion, baking with my mom is a fun weekend activity that I love. It's a time for us to bond create something delicious, and share our treats with the people we care about. The whole process, from choosing the recipe to enjoying the cookies, is enjoyable and rewarding. Baking together makes my weekend special and gives me wonderful memories that I will always cherish. The importance of exercise. Exercise is very important to me. It helps me stay healthy and feel good. Every day, I try to do some form of exercise, whether it is walking, running, or playing a sport. I want to share why exercise is important and how it makes me feel. In the morning, I like to start my day with a short walk around my neighborhood. It wakes me up and gives me energy for the day. I enjoy the fresh air and the sound of birds chirping. Sometimes, I see my neighbors walking their dogs or jogging. 
We smile and say hello, which makes me feel happy. After school, I usually play soccer with my friends. We meet at the park and form teams. Playing soccer is not only fun, but it also helps me stay fit. Running up and down the field makes my heart beat faster and my legs stronger. I love the feeling of scoring a goal and hearing my friends cheer. It makes me feel proud and excited. On days when I do not play soccer, I still find ways to exercise. Sometimes, I ride my bike around the block. Other times, I follow a simple workout routine at home. I do jumping jacks, push-ups, and sit-ups. These exercises are easy to do and do not require any special equipment. They help build my muscles and keep me strong. Exercise also helps me relax and feel good. When I am stressed or worried, going for a run or playing a game helps me clear my mind. The physical activity makes my body release chemicals called endorphins. These chemicals make me feel happy and relaxed. After exercising, I always feel better, both physically and mentally. Another reason why exercise is important is because it helps me sleep better. On days when I exercise, I find it easier to fall asleep at night. My body feels tired in a good way, and I sleep deeply. Good sleep is important because it helps my body recover and prepares me for the next day. Exercise is not only good for my body, but it also teaches me important lessons. Playing sports, like soccer, teaches me about teamwork and cooperation. I learn how to work with others, communicate, and support my teammates. It also teaches me discipline and determination. When I practice regularly, I see improvement in my skills, which motivates me to keep going. I also enjoy exercising with my family. Sometimes, we go for a hike in the mountains or play a game of basketball in our driveway. These activities bring us closer together and create happy memories. We laugh, compete, and encourage each other. Exercising as a family is a great way to bond and stay healthy together. In conclusion, exercise is a very important part of my life. It keeps me healthy, makes me feel good, and helps me learn valuable lessons. Whether it is walking, running, or playing a sport, I always try to find time to exercise each day. It is a fun and rewarding way to take care of my body and mind. I encourage everyone to find an exercise they enjoy and make it a regular part of their routine. Exercise makes life better and more enjoyable. Learning something new. Recently, I decided to learn how to play the guitar. It has always been a dream of mine to make music. I love listening to songs and watching people play instruments. I thought learning the guitar would be fun and exciting, so I asked my parents if I could take lessons. They said yes, and I was very happy. My first guitar lesson was last month. I was a little nervous, but also very excited. My teacher, Mr. Johnson, is very kind and patient. He showed me how to hold the guitar properly and how to place my fingers on the strings. At first, it was a bit hard because the strings hurt my fingers. But Mr. Johnson said this is normal and that my fingers will get used to it. In my first few lessons, I learned some basic chords. Chords are groups of notes played together. Mr. Johnson taught me the C chord, the G chord, and the D chord. It took some practice to get my fingers in the right place, but I kept trying. I practiced every day after school. My mom said she could hear me getting better each day. After a couple of weeks, I could play a simple song using the chords I learned. It was a very happy moment for me. I played the song for my family, and they clapped and cheered. This made me feel proud and motivated to keep learning. I started to enjoy playing the guitar even more. Mr. Johnson also taught me how to read music. This was a little tricky at first, but I found it interesting. I learned about notes, rhythms, and how to follow the music on a sheet. Reading music helps me understand the songs better and play them correctly. Sometimes, learning the guitar can be challenging. There are days when my fingers feel tired, 
and I make mistakes. But I know that practice makes perfect. Mr. Johnson always encourages me to keep going and not give up. He says that every great guitarist started as a beginner, just like me. One of the best parts of learning the guitar is that I can play my favorite songs. I found some simple versions of songs I like, and I practice them in my free time. It is a wonderful feeling to play along with the music I love. I even started writing my own little tunes. It is fun to create something new and express myself through music. Learning the guitar has taught me a lot about patience and dedication. It takes time and effort to get better, but the results are worth it. I have also learned to set small goals for myself, like learning a new chord or mastering a new song. Achieving these goals makes me feel accomplished and proud. In conclusion, learning something new, like playing the guitar, is a rewarding experience. It can be challenging, but with practice and perseverance, it becomes easier and more enjoyable. I am glad I decided to follow my dream and learn the guitar. It has brought me a lot of joy and satisfaction. I look forward to continuing my lessons and becoming a better guitarist. Playing the guitar has made my life richer and more fun.